sir. Ain't nothing like starting a video off with a nice little underpass. Ooh. Call me a professional cat. Uh, uh, what's them? Uh, uh, uh down. Hell, uh. uh. Can't even talk. Uh, uh, when, when you, when you. So, um, you had your. Anyway, welcome back to another video. We headed to T's Auto Place. You feel me? Obviously, by the title, we're going to try something uh, I don't recommend. Uh, most of y'all are probably going to be in the comments asking, why am I doing this to my car? Why not just let insurance take care of it? Why am I not uh, letting the professionals handle the body work? That is a good question. Um, personally, I don't feel like waiting. And I don't want anybody else touching this car. I get very anxious when other people touch this car, especially people I'm not familiar with. So I don't want nobody to try and like work on this car and then they damage something else. Say they damage my wheels trying to get it into the shop. They scrape something, they hit something else. They don't even fix the inside of my trunk all the way like it's supposed to. So if it like has to get paid for and it's not like 110% better than I left it, to me, there's no point in even giving it to nobody to fix. So I might as well just try it myself. Exactly. All right, so we at T's Autos. We watching YouTube University right now. Trying to see how to get this off correctly. Um, Y'all already know my junk is gutted. So we really skipped like half of his video and half the process in general. The only difficult part that I see will be like getting all these clips off, getting these, uh, that lock off and the lights right there. So we're gonna try and, try and get as much as we can on camera. Lot of difficulties taking these off we didn't have a pry tool highly recommend you get a pry tool we have something better that worked for us it didn't really work like we wanted to but it worked we got this trash off and i'm about to wait i'm about to break out the scale because i did bring a scale i'm about to hammer this out about to take out these tail lights and get the bumper and trunk back even like it's supposed to be taking us a little Arizona break baby rest in peace to the, the 99 cans bro they don't even put the 99 cents on the can no more all right we three hours later and a whole lot of more bangs and dents later we got it somewhat lined up you feel me it looks a little better you know if i stand back it don't look that bad no more but uh i did break this so now i gotta 3m tape this my dog's here getting a little oil change um we about to throw the carbon trunk on think we have the trunk off the car I, just cuz <laughs> that's just how we rock that bitch like quick that's all 
I just wanted to clean the trunk off by itself, you know. Go ahead, right there, You want some I want some boosters, chicken. Somebody tell me that shit. I ain't, I ain't ready for this. I ain't, I ain't ready for this. Yeah, I've been ready. You know what type of man Sheesh. I am. Sheesh. 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 Yeah, let the camera get yeah. it. Come on, boy. Sheesh. Sheesh. Let the light hit it, you feel me? Some of y'all probably so pressed that I just drilled into this $1,200 trunk, but if it don't fit, it's not gonna fit. I ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> I got gas today too. I ain't gonna lie, cause why is it not like going in and staying there? Oh, I'm a dummy, bro. I'm doing it again. Hey, that's how you know it fit, cause it's, I still be forgetting to pull this little rubber thing off. Level nine mechanic. Oh God. Da 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 da. <laughs> Alright, we in there. Yes, sir. Yes. Is it really necessary? Yes. Like it, it would side? it wouldn't fit at all. This side? Uh right. outside. That's no. Side. It's crazy. Cause this side fine. That side is that's in there. That's not coming out. Yeah, they don't be don't mess it up. It's carbon fiber. Like don't send it out to me if it, it don't work. Alright man, we this is where we at. This on cold, I ain't lying. A little ducktail. Woo! Carbon fiber. Alright, so. We're running into a lot of fitment problems. Uh, this hole right here does not fit for your license plate light. So. I don't have my Dremel, so I'm using a drill to try and open it up a little more. And. As you can see, that other light, this one right here, is barely in there. Like, you can really look at it, and it's not all the way in. So, I don't feel like, I got it in, in place right now. I don't think, like, I don't think it's going nowhere. But if I really, like, don't like it that much, if it gets to me at a point to where I feel like I need to fix it, I'm gonna go home, get my Dremel, and carve a bigger hole out and then i'm gonna fix it so right now i'm gonna try and get this working and back on because it's really giving me a headache i ain't lying also these are not the taillights i wanted to order i didn't even know i ordered the red ones um i didn't know until it was too late that i ordered the wrong taillights because me personally i feel like i ordered the ones over there in the next to that box but to be honest, the red don't look that bad because they're darker than I expected. So hopefully when we put it on the car, it'll look it'll look a whole lot better. All right, take number 4 of trying to put this in. Let's see if it clears. Uh, I don't like that. I mean, it's in. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's in there. It's in there, but there's like these points. That's like on the inside. It's like clips. That's. I feel like they're gonna fall out. I don't want to come outside to the back of my car and these things dangling out the trunk. I'm gonna be upset, bro. I'm not. I ain't lying to nobody. I will be mad when y'all get a trunk like this honestly a trunk that costs almost almost twelve hundred dollars guys 
you shouldn't have these problems but it is what it is if you buy stuff like this you know like there's going to be some some issues fitting certain things like you could look at marty motoring you could look at 350 auto they all when they got this stuff 350 auto for sure when he bought his carbon fiber trunk he had buku issues so i'm not surprised but i'm just like sheesh bro like everything everything i have to make corrections to like come on son y'all could have gave me a little discount or something geez oh i almost uh, i almost forgot to weigh it i ain't gonna lie so i got my scale right there 20406 a 2046 that's crazy I ain't gonna lie, that's not as nearly as much as I thought it would be. But I knew the trunk was around like 12 pounds, so that's crazy. The other trunk, that trunk over there weighed at least like 19 pounds. So I, this not, this wasn't as big as the weight savings as I thought it was. So that's kind of tough. Yeah, so if y'all are doing this for weight savings, go ahead and save your money. If weight savings is the sole reason you're buying a carbon trunk, save your money put it like to another car or a supercharger or something well y'all playing but i'm really gonna be upset if these lights if these lights start dangling i'm gonna be upset like i'm gonna pull over and i'm i'm plucking them out this guy's saying the most off the wall things I mean, don't be caring i mean he don't but come on man I turned around and looked back at the red. That joint kind of bussing. That red bussing. They over here getting the oil change done. Uh, So obviously we're not finished because only only the lights are plugged in on the trunk and honestly I could plug them in right now but the latch the latch does not close it sticks out and it touches like right there where my fingers are it's like this latch right here it comes right here and it's supposed to be right here but it stops right here so that's lame um i can really plug these in right now that's what i'm gonna do real quick all right so i just plugged in the lights so y'all can get a full picture Woo, 
movies are bright. Uh. Yeah, so it doesn't close. It sticks out like right. Where is it? It's like I can't see it. I'm gonna show y'all eventually. I'm gonna get in some light and show y'all, but this joint clean, bro. Look at the carbon fiber, bro. Look at the ducktail. That's crazy, bro. It's really insane. Unfortunately, we have ran out of time and it looks like it's on there and it is this thing do look good but it is not closed um, I don't know why obviously it's probably from this but this is bent in so far where the latch stops like under there that's clearly not supposed to be like that so y'all see we got it zip tied and i'm gonna deal with it in the morning all right guys and just like that i don't know what that noise was i don't know if he heard it or not i'm about to go out and look and make sure it ain't nothing crazy Last thing I need is something falling off. All right, we good, we good. Look in here. Lights, lights please. Oh snap. Um. I don't know what fell. I think it was that lock up there. Get this out of here. We just gonna take it easy. I heard like a, a loud noise. I'm like, I know that bit didn't fall off, but I think it was the lock. Exactly. Ah, exactly. All right. Let's go home, guys. We just gonna take it easy because that flashing light is gonna be flashing in my face the whole time. And I really don't need to hit any bumps. But we about to go get some gas station lighting and get some angles real quick because this car looked really good. I'm not going to lie. And I really thought that I was going to hate the taillights, but it's not that bad. I like the red actually like you kind of. It kind of grew on me in like a, a little amount of time. It's crazy. And then like the trunk itself. Now, I don't know if it's the trunk not fitting in general or the the damage on the trunk, like on the liner where it's supposed to close it at the latch. I'm pretty sure that latch is just severely pushed in. And we literally did our best to pull it out, punch it out and whatnot. But it just did not. It didn't go. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So, that's tough, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Cars still look amazing. Car looks better than it did for like the last four, five, six videos. Ooh, these are, oh, it's a lot of bumps. I appreciate y'all for watching this probably long video. I will see y'all when I see you. If you're new, subscribe. This is basically the car's redemption at this point because this thing been through so much if you're new go watch all the previous videos you probably missed a few bangers um you'll tell by the view count which one were the bangers but subscribe man like the video comment uh i know this wasn't a perfect install but you gotta play the hand you're dealt so i appreciate y'all see y'all in the next one peace